AOA. How long do you expect the next vapor cannon to be to last? Okay, the first one lasted 1656 years. Then we had one for 25 years, but it collapsed. It just wasn't made to endure. Oh my God, I totally forgot to tell you guys about Hesiod. I'm so glad I just read that. Remember earlier in this video, I was telling you there's another data set involving that 25 year darkness. It's known on both hemispheres. We have historical records for that 25 year darkness in 1687 BC to 1662, when all the civilizations began waking up again. But what's fascinating is that we have four ages for the world after the appearance of the sun in different civilizations everywhere from the ancient americas the vedas the uh, in the in the hindu hindu uh, uh traditions we have these silver age gold gold age silver age bronze age iron age all that in america it was the four suns water sun stone sun wet whatever um but in hesiod's version 800 bc ancient achaean author his version is very weird because his version comports with everybody else's, but then all of a sudden it gets to it gets to a small period of time where an age was inserted one of the four ages. After a great darkness, this little bitty miniature age, and he calls it a new age of heroes. This has always perplexed me. Before I learned about the vapor canopy, I was always perplexed about that because he's describing five ages. Four, and with one tucked in between one, it didn't even make any sense. But it makes sense. Because during the vapor canopy, everybody was gigantic, but after the vapor canopy, their sons and daughters regarded their fathers and mothers as titans. But they themselves were giants compared to their sons and daughters who were born after the vapor canopy had collapsed. In one generation after the collapse of the vapor canopy in 2239 BC, with the sun in the sky now, we have titans existing, giants existing, and normal humans being born. The age of heroes, of titans and giants and demigods and all these people fighting, it lasted for like 450 years before the 1687 the, the last war of giants is the battle of Kuruksetta, which was remembered in texts from the near east and in the hindu writings the battle of Kuruksetta is the last historical record where giants were used on the battlefield of both armies i'm doing a video about that battle in the battle of Kuruksetta. The giants fought, most of them died. A few lived on later. Many escaped as the Firbolgs and the Fomorians that escaped to Ireland and England. Some lived in Bashan, the Valley of Rephaim in Israel. But as, a, as, as, as civilizations, they were gone. As, as just the survivors of a race, they were, they, were, they, were, they were scattered. So, all of a sudden, in 1687 BC, 20, after a 25 year darkness, when the civilizations began rising again, we have something very curious in the old Greek traditions. In the old Greek traditions, they claim the beginning of their history was the seven against Thebes and 24 years later, or 48 years later, one of them was the fall of Troy. But in Homer's, Homer's Iliad, we find the gods are fighting with giants in the Trojan War. Some of the Trojan heroes and some of the Greek, uh, the Mycenaean, Mycenaean heroes were gigantic and they were considered, and, and, and Homer describes them as, as a, from the race of heroes. Hesiod was writing at the exact same time and he mentions that a new race of, a new, a new age of heroes began. Never made sense to me until I started studying the vapor canopy. Hesiod is absolutely correct because during that 25 years, during that 25 years of darkness, many people starved, many people were brutally killed, but guess what? Many people were born as well, and those who were born during that 25 years, they grew to astonishing sizes. The vapor canopy had come back for a very temporary period of time after 1687 BC, just long enough for thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people to be born. When they were born, they grew instantly to gigantic heroic proportions. After the collapse of that vapor canopy in 1662 BC, 
everybody's back normal again. But the people that were born during the darkness period, in the dark, in the time of chaos, vapor canopy, they're huge. Hesiod is correct. There was a new age of heroes, and it was short-lived, and it ended almost uh, uh, within, within, what, 1687, 1600, within 300 years, it was over with the fall of Troy. Well,